Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to control your hearing aids with your Apple iWatch. Coming up. At this point, there are not a lot of things that modern hearing aids cannot do. I mean, back in the day, you literally had to use a screwdriver to adjust one of only a few trim pots to control the amplification levels of a hearing aid. And of course, no matter how much you tweak them, they still sounded horrible. Now, there are so many adjustments you can make inside of the programming software for these modern hearing aids that you could make the argument that there's too many. And you now have access to all of the wireless technology capabilities that you would want as well, which is what allows you to connect your hearing aids up to a smartphone app. These apps allow you to do a variety of different things with your hearing aids, including adjusting the volume levels, changing between different programs, customizing your equalizer settings, finding a lost hearing aid, and even connecting remotely with your hearing care professional. However, sometimes it isn't always convenient to have to take out your phone to make these adjustments to your hearing aids, which is exactly why it's so nice to have an Apple iWatch that can do some of these adjustments for you. But before I get into what these adjustments are, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos and I release multiple videos every single week. That being said, I really appreciate it. Now let's take a look at some of the hearing aid brands that allow you to use your iWatch. There are three brands that are compatible with the iWatch. You have Oticon, you have Resound, and you have wide X. It is important to note that the hearing aids that are manufactured by these brands have made for iPhone hearing aid technology. And while all three of these brands do also allow you to now connect your devices up to an Android device, you cannot use an Android device with your iWatch if you want to have access to the app controls. In order to get your iWatch to work with your Oticon, Resound, or wide X hearing aids, you first have to download the hearing aid app from the App Store onto your iPhone, and then you have to go to the watch app on your phone and install each app from your iPhone onto the watch. Once you do this, you will see that the hearing aid app that was on your iPhone is now also on your iWatch. And now that you know how to do this, let's go ahead and take a look and see what each one of these iWatch apps will let you do with these three different brands. With Oticon and their Oticon On app, you can control your Oticon More hearing aids from your iWatch, which will give you access to three different screens. This will allow you to change your volume levels by using the crown on the side of the watch. You can change between different programs and activate different accessories using the touch screen. And you can even see the battery life remaining in your hearing aids. If you happen to have Resound hearing aids like the Resound One and their Smart 3D app, you can use the crown on your iWatch to make volume adjustments or you can use the touch screen itself. You can change between different programs and accessories, and the watch even lets you activate your noise filter and speech clarity filter, just like you can inside of the Smart 3D smartphone app. With WideX, you can use the WideX Moment app with your WideX Moment hearing aids to adjust the volume levels of your hearing aids using the crown, or you can quickly mute your hearing aids on the touch screen itself. You can change between different programs and accessories, and you can change the directional focus of your microphones if you're trying to focus on sound coming from a particular direction. I should mention that you can use the iWatch to control a Starkey hearing aid, but only older versions of Starkey hearing aids that still use the TrueLink app. As of the recording of this video, the Starkey Thrive app is not compatible with the iWatch, so if you have a Starkey Livio or Starkey Evolve AI hearing aid, they are not compatible at this moment. Another nice thing about using the iWatch with any one of these hearing aids is that if you get a phone call, you actually get to see who is calling to determine whether or not you want to get your phone out to answer that call. Now that you know all the things that you can do with the iWatch for these three different brands of hearing aids, now let's take a look at the things that you cannot do. First, you do not have full app functionality, so you'll still be able to do more things on these apps on your iPhone than you will with the iWatch. Second, while you can answer phone calls directly from the iWatch, it will not route the sound from your phone into your hearing aids. It will route it over to the watch, and then instead of being able to hear the person you're talking to directly in your hearing aids, you're going to have to talk to them like you're Dick Tracy. And third, the iWatch does not replace the necessity of having your iPhone. So if you end up leaving 
the house without your phone, or you get out of Bluetooth range, or you just run out of battery on your iPhone, you're no longer going to be able to use your iWatch to control your hearing aids. Despite these few drawbacks, it is hard to believe just how far we've come from the days of hearing aids being basically glorified amplifiers that could only be adjusted with screwdrivers, to now having devices that are basically supercomputers that use Bluetooth that can connect directly with your phone and your watch. The crazy thing is we have barely scratched the surface of what the technology behind hearing aids will ultimately be able to do. So if being able to control your hearing aids from your watch is something that does not impress you, just wait another 20 years because this technology to us will seem like today's screwdriver. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.